she is very very dissatisfied that I'm, that I don't have a wife. She she wanted a boy that looked like me, but I told her that she would never have it, and it makes her very bad. But early last year, she came to greet me and asked me two things. She said, I am very, very unhappy that your brothers are not doing very well. And then she said, if you have a wife, look at something, we will not have one or four room in this village. She looked at me and told me, he said, if you have a wife, look at something, we will not have one or four room in this village. And she loved the 104 room, so I became happy. Open your ears. A lot of men are dead. Some of them died because they are stupid. Very stupid. The church supports stupidity. The church is in support of stupidity. Pastors preach stupidity. Pastors are part of the problems of God. Open your ears. Emotions doesn't rule. The earth is a place of ordinance. Do whatever you can do to be great. Walk out of darkness constantly. God will help you. Here on earth, change is possible. If I have a wife, I will never leave Kano. Build your destiny around your choice. Let me say again. I say build your destiny around your choice, not on emotion. Don't conflict your desire with your, your person. Don't live by emotion. Things you don't need, hate it. And hate it with all your life. If you don't understand me, you will get old and you will still be in pain. Religion doesn't have future. It's a deception. Ordinance will rule. Let me say again. I say religion doesn't have future. I have made 280 books and I'm getting ready 40. I just finished writing. I finished writing chapter 2 on the part of a new Nigeria and I wrote that Nigeria will evolve. Nigeria will be a better country. That's what I just wrote. Nobody will deny her. She cannot go down when people like us are talking. My voice is in the heaven of Nigeria. It doesn't reduce Nigeria. I'm a sacrifice. I'm contributing. So contribute. We don't need perfection. We need to move on. I said we don't need. We need. There's a difference. Don't worry about perfection. Move on. Train your children the way they can be better than you. Don't desire them to be perfect. But don't raise idiots. So I came to thank God. You already know the reason why I have this three seed mama is immortal no harm shall come to you and i want to preach on revelation now after sitting down after sitting down for about 10 hours i was going home and i was asking god what i would preach as we passed spinnies i saw a scream in front of me and i saw isaiah 18 1. he said that's where you're preaching from i said i don't know anything about it it's a prophet he said stop praying and then i will tell you what to preach I'm about to make somebody divine. I have stayed long enough on earth not to be stupid. I have preached every Sunday for 26 years. I've been to full time ministry for 29 years. I'm not permitted to be stupid and ignorant. And I'm focused. I was here in the night. And I will still be here. I went to that building only me. As I went there, only me. And I was, I was dropping mantles around there. A voice said to me, say, when you come back here on Tuesday, preach on great is a mystery of godliness. Excuse me. Don't allow people to understand you completely. Otherwise, you will die. If people understand you completely, you've done your grave. Don't explain everything to anybody because godliness is a mystery. <laughs> so I would like you to Amen 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 Amen
what I was doing and when the angel told me that godliness when I was dropping mantles into different areas in that building praying in tongues something asked me said what about if somebody see you dropping mantles you believe you're doing you're using charm and the mantles I was dropping is you know if I'm using it I'm the one that washed this I'm the one that watch, nobody washes it so sometimes some of them are very very stained when they are very very stained I don't use them when I'm washing them if I start washing them and the stain can't go out I drop it so I sometimes I drop like about five then I I come to scatter here because it's, it's a treasure so when I was dropping it I said what about if somebody see me dropping it he would think I'm doing charm in the building then the voice said godliness it's a mystery mystery is something you, everybody should not understand all the people that died kept themselves in the surface where they were reachable all the people that are poor kept themselves in the surface Whatever that is kept the surface don't have value. Let me say again. All the people who are sick kept themselves in the surface. The difference between gold and sand is that sand is always on the surface. So it doesn't have value. So anybody can take it. There is something that hurts me all the days of my life. And I told somebody, I think yesterday or today, I called somebody and said, There is something that has been hurting me. And I wouldn't want that to hurt you. That is honoring people who don't deserve honor. If you honor people that don't deserve honor, they will wound you. You see, you see because because they don't live they don't deserve honor they have their life they have a reduced life if you try to pick them from the pit they will because they belong to the pit they will go back to pit it doesn't matter how much you try let me say again because they belong to pit their mentality is of the pit they will go back to pit and uh, I want to bless you before I start preaching. God never, God never did it. Ah, somebody said hey, he raises beggars from donkey. God raised beggars that had value to be raised. Beggars that have, listen. If a beggar has value to be raised, if God didn't raise him, he will come out on his own. Let me say it again. I say, if a beggar has value to be raised, he will come out on his own. There is something a big man will never lack. A big man will never lack eyes. He will never lack inspiration. He will know the difference between him and a stupid person. Even when two of them are not talking, they can see. The, the way to the top is not meant for the blind. Let me say it again. I say, the way to the top it's not meant for the blind listen I'm about to share mysteries and I know that it is not possible for another living man to come to the height of revelation I'm, I'm operating from whether you believe it or not it doesn't matter but I will not lack what I need because economy that is treasure money answers to deeps and the deeps of revelation is the hiding place of men why people join our court is not because they are, they are looking for money no they are looking for a hiding place in deeps. A man that cannot assess your spirit cannot kill you. Because man is not human. Man is a spirit. If they don't imprison your spirit, they can't kill you. You cannot kill a man you don't know where he's hiding. Let me say again. I say you cannot kill a man. You cannot hide. So the beginning of death in the life of men is a certain engage them in fellowship. So that they can review themselves. No, it's how I said that Satan knows people's secrets through fellowship.
before they can die so he said i want to reduce somebody he doesn't kill you straight because if you don't kill a man spiritually and kill him physically he becomes a martyr and in the realm of the spirit they will hold you responsible if a man is not killed spiritually and is killed physically god will not allow it whosoever that do it will pay i don't know whether you're hearing me now when satan want to kill people just like what delilah did to samson what delilah did to samson was engaging samson she didn't kill samson immediately she wanted samson to tell her him all about him and when she succeeded then samson died so each time a man died the people that kill him are those who fellowship with him an enemy cannot get to you he is somebody that told is somebody who knows that a woman is traveling a man is traveling that knows when the man is traveling and where the man will be and then tell us kidnappers when they will trap him he's somebody who is there who, who even called him on phone and say and take back illegal yes yes we just pass over right now when she drops she called the other people so it's not the kidnapper that kidnapped the woman it's somebody she's living with i don't know what <laughs> i don't know what you're hearing me huh? i say is excuse me why one of the reasons why i'm immortal is because i'm not sharing my life with any woman so it, it, it's, looking at me now is not enough for you to know me <laughs> I, I say it's not no it's not enough so as i'm here in this order nobody knows me and that's my hiding place so I would like you to pray a prayer in a minute. Now, what I said now is ancient intelligence. It doesn't fail. It functions in the realm of immortality. It doesn't allow me to lack. I don't shout in prayer. I only breathe out and, and bring my desire before God through thought. What? I bring my desire before God through. And that is why people that, that are impart me, people that I love, I don't pray for them. I have never done any shakamaya kakakabada to any human being that love me and people that got a standing miracle from me i've never given it to them from prayer i connect to them from my heart uh, last night when i sat down in my house for about nine hours it's not shakama mama is connect from heart then you'll be my in your house my angel will come to you then you will know i'm a divine being so god prefers god prefers that fellowship to all the naive jews let me ask let me ask you to listen if prayer could change the world nigeria will be like will not be like this God relates with our, our our value, our life from our value, not from our prayer. When you say, oh God, he cares about who person talking. Let me say again. I say, when you say, oh God, he cares about the person that is talking. I, I was in my house yesterday. My phone rang two times. I didn't pick. It rang the third time. I cut off the one that is calling me and take the, the third one. Did you hear what I said? The first one rang. I didn't take the second one rank i didn't take that one was hearing one was coming in i quenched the second one <laughs> maybe maybe didn't hear what i said have you not dropped calls before you're talking with somebody and the call is coming you said to the person can you excuse me that a spiritual call Say, can you excuse me i'll call you back you drop the call and take the other one and because the other one cannot wait for this other one you're talking to
when Moses was on earth, even in heaven, let me just explain what happened. When there was battle in heaven, God withdrew to where Lucifer cannot come. That what happened. I, I say he, he just withdrew to where. No, he withdrew. There. He just he just moved his leg, and then closed the door. Lucifer was by the door, but he cannot come to where my king is, because that place is complicated. If you don't have anything on earth, get it. If you want honor, don't look for honor until you get it. Honor can wound somebody who doesn't have a hiding place. Let me say again. I say honor can wound somebody that doesn't have a hiding place. Listen, a lot of big ministries will die. The general overseer will die. Those ministries will still die and close. They might not close in 10 years, in 15, in 20. They will close. Why they will close is because they, their light is, is smaller than the light of the enemy. You don't keep Satan outside yourself when his light is superior to your own light. Let me say again. I said you don't keep Satan outside. You, you don't shout to an angel of darkness that have a superior light. Shouting will not, will not count. The angel will still find his way. Because we are not protected by prayer. We are protected by the content of our light. Which represents the value of the spiritual power of God. So, can we pray in a minute and say, Lord, thank you for your word. Let it come. And we rise into the heavenly places. I'll be promoted. He will honor me with a crown. I will exalt him because he is exalted. He is king of kings, winner of all battles. Ancient of days, valiant in victory. My king, you are exalted. Ah, you are the converter of every destiny. You pick pain from the place of lowness. Then you are exalted. Lord, you are magnified. So hey Oh 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 I want you to pray. Number one, Lord, reveal myself and yourself to me. Number two, depend on that revelation to bring me to new heights. Pay attention. One of the nights I went to that building to ask God for money, I was with intercessors. We are by the coast, by the bridge, the small walls there. We are just praying vigorously. I stayed there for about three hours because I went there after 11. And then when it was like two, the Lord came to me and said, it's like you forgot who you are. I said, why are you telling me? He said, you're here shouting on its six rooms. Don't disgrace yourself. He said, leave the prayer of money for the people here and go into your room and pray prayer that matters. If you want money, I will give you when you want. You don't need to shout. There are more important prayers. So he said to me, 
do you understand the difference between lambs? I said yes. He said, if you have built one old four room in Lagos, will you pray for its cease by the side? I said no. He said, open your ears and understand. He said, you're not praying for another money when you have built a bigger building because of where you kept it. If you're a woman, don't love a man for marriage. Love someone that can feed you. Love someone that can upgrade your value. You wouldn't need love. When love will not count when you lack everything you need. So I left that place. You see, because I saw my angel building a highway from Atlantic Ocean to Indian Ocean. And I know the engineers. So somebody who can command engineers who build those buildings cannot just ask God for money for this. It's not, it's not right. No, it's not right. It's not right. There's a level you get to in God. There are things you don't, you don't beg him. No, you don't beg him that. So I would like you to pray and say, Lord, from Revelation, enhance my value. Just pray in a minute. To go from Revelation. From eyes open. From eyes open. From eyes open. Thank you, Lord, because you've answered. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. You may be seated for a minute. Those who gave this money, can you run out? Those that gave this money. And see, God will do more. Are you married? You give this money. God will do more. Now, wow. God will do more. God will do more. <laughs> where you are is not as important as where you will be. Let me tell somebody. Why I will spend 14 minutes, 45 to open your eyes is because if your eyes are not open, two things will happen. You will make wrong choices. And then you will be bothered. You will make wrong choices. There are things that look, there are things that look attractive at the beginning, but they don't have future. Now, if they look attractive, you might be, and you can't see beyond that, you might be tempted to grab it. <laughs> you might grab it but inside it is warm it doesn't look like trouble but it will bring trouble after a certain time in the years so in 45 minutes I want to welcome us again in the name of Jesus I want to be preaching on dealing with the evil of shadowing dealing with the evil of shadowing with wings 18 1 of the book of 18 1 of the book of Isaiah it says woe unto the land shadowing with wings which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia now I was I divided this preaching into two on Tuesday afternoon I'm going to go into preaching on beyond the rivers of Ethiopia but today I'm talking about a land shadowing with wings it, 
if you look at two, you will see the nature of that land. He said that send bull, send ambassadors by the sea, even vessels of bull rushes, saying, Go east with messengers. Now, that, that, the, now you see that that is the nature of that land. They, they are scattered or they are peeled because they are forced, scattered to a people terrible from the beginning, from a nation meted out and uh, downtrodden whose land river have spoiled that is what i'm looking at now please listen the first activity of witchcraft is to make people shadowy wings why africa and nigeria is a poor nation it is not because they are not working hard but because they are shadowing with wings they are downtrodden people they are scattered people they are peeled people they, they, they have a land that erosion has has destroyed so I was asking God I said what is this about what is this about shadowing with wings? He said it is an art of witchcraft that devalues the life of a man. Destroy the thinking organs. That is the sensory organs. That is the organs of light. all the people that shadow with wings are under the influence of witchcraft now the church pray against witchcraft it doesn't end because prayer doesn't solve the problem of witchcraft the, the major activity of witchcraft is to make people blind wretched ignorant Purposeless, wanderers. L let me read two places so that I can explain it. I've been praying that God should not allow me to shout so I can help a young man. If you look at 9, 1, and 2, as I, I wanted to show you the influence of witchcraft. He said, Nevertheless, the dinner shall not be as such as was in her decision. <coughs> and the land of Naphtali, the Bible says that the people were deemed, so they were versed. Now, when we talk about the, the deem, they were ignorant. So they were afflicted, I mean, Zebulon, Naphtali. And when they dwell in darkness, they are affliction are grieved. That is, became grievous. Now, in verse 2, the Bible says, they began to get ready to die. <laughs> the people that walk in darkness have seen and then that dwell in the land of the shadow okay. now the word shadow again came up upon them light now it's not that they went to prayer meeting it's upon them that light shine now listen I have done counseling for 29 years there are young girls when you are telling them I said I want to help you they will, I told you a young girl came to me and said I should pray for her and I passed off her for about I passed off her for about 10 years and she said she said I want you to pray for me I said my wife said my marriage is delayed I look at her and said, you don't need to pray, I'm a shepherd. I need to talk to you. Because I know what is delaying your marriage. I am not only pastoring you, you are, you are with me. I know why a man will never marry you. Because you are behaving it before me. If I'm a man, I won't marry you. I 
told her, I said, I am the one that I'm pastoring you. I know why you're not married. I need to talk to you about it. Because the boys are still my boys. She said, no, she said, no, daddy, I don't, want, I don't want you to talk to me. I want you to pray for me. I said, stand up and get out. You see, because I've been praying for her for 10 years. I pray for her privately. I pray for her in the public. I call her out at the altar. She spoiled my prayer through wrong character. And the marriage broke. The marriage broke for something I told her 10 years. I wanted to make her see 10 years before. Her back. Her back. Satan wanted her to protect that evil. Satan like people protect evil. <laughs> Satan want people protect the evil in them. Something that makes them unblessable. Satan want them protected. So that they can remain that way. So each time you want to touch it, they, they feel pensive. Well, it's not easy. It's difficult. It's difficult to hear your weakness. But it's a blessing. My advice before I go away from it, get it from those that love you. If somebody loves you, then listen to him. God uses those that love us to bless us round about. He's not only giving you things. It is somebody that had what people were saying against you and then brought it to you because she knows it's true. So, why I brought this is because Satan will never function where there is no darkness and uh, evil we never abandon darkness darkness we never go away if it is protected poverty we reign wherever there is darkness shame Sudden death. This is a deliverance service because we're going to do head wash. I'm not here to do long preaching. But I promise God I will open your eyes. So I made chapter 2 two yesterday on saviors from Africa. I, I wrote that saviors save through their light. So the greatest job of every man of God is to open people's eyes. 42 6 of Hazar. If you look up, I will give you a gift. Why you should listen to me is men are meant to evolve. There is a particular time in the life of a lady where or a man when he doesn't know what he wants. And a time when she has evolved, she knows what she wants. The, we, the problem with man, the challenge of God with man is not being perfect. Is he remaining in one level continuously? Let me say again. I said the challenge of God with man is not being perfect because you know you will not be perfect. So it's not his anger. It's you refusing to move when you should move. So I want to help somebody make deliberate effort to move. If your business is not, go, is not going the way you want and you want to prosper, don't ask him for money. Ask him the way. Ask him about the way. If there is delay, don't ask him to break the delay. Ask him to review what is sustaining the delay. 
If you want God to make something happen for you this year in a unique way, don't ask it in prayer. Ask him what is going to be your contribution. That is that is being that is awareness. Awareness. Isaiah 42, 6, 7. Awareness. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness. We uphold thee. My hand will keep thee. Give thee a covenant of the people for a light unto the Gentiles. Number 7. To, hold the divine eye. to bring our prisoner from the prison. And then the city in darkness out of the prison. How does he do it? Light must shine. So when I go back to shadowing with wings, there are, there are evils Satan accomplishes in the life of people before he keeps them down. Like Africa. All right, let me use myself. I came from a village, a poor place, a people that don't know their left from their right. I grew up there. And the environment started wounding me. But I had another helper. What I'm about to say, you know, why I ask them to bring children into the hall is that I want your, your son, who knows only you in the house, to know that there's another man like me that's different from you. So that he will not think you're the standard. That that way you're living before him is the standard. I want him to see another standard. So sometimes I go out of my way to teach some things for younger generations. For younger Nigerians. You see, because a land cannot be devalued when men of value are there. The first thing Satan do to destroy a land is to make men valueless. That is a target. And I would like you to listen. The challenge pastors are having is that they think the thing that preaching and prophesying on Sunday morning is what counts. We don't have valuable, like, we don't have valuable pastors. Carrying Bible does not make you valuable. God doesn't relate with religion; He relates with value. Value rules Nigeria, not religion. <coughs> Somebody might be carrying Bible without being valuable. Uh, uh, somebody said, um, uh, um, nobody's giving him seed. I said, give you seed how? You are a pastor. You don't need to beg for seed. You should have value. You pastor people, you share your value with the pew. Not telling the pew to make you valuable. That is ridiculous. I said, you cannot tell the pew to make you valuable. It is your value you share with the pew. Not getting value from the pew. It's impossible. I have paid for 29 years. I've never get angry with somebody in my heart or openly that he didn't give me money. For what? Am I a beggar? If the money didn't come from God, then I'm not taking it. I say, if, if my value didn't attract the money, then I'm not, I'm not taking it. So if you didn't give me seed, I would believe that I don't have value in your sight. And I'm not angry. <laughs> Maybe I'll say to myself, go and get value. Nothing else. When I see you, I smile. There is a way you will treat me. I will believe that I don't have value in your eyes. Ah, it's on, Sunday is my birthday. Some people say, let us make cake. I say, I don't want to be angry on my birthday. Don't make cake. <laughs> uh, you don't bring butter and sugar together and keep on calling somebody who is, who is getting to cyst. No. Uh, when I went to worry, nobody worried the land the plane landed. They didn't land in Enugu. Worry is not a people's land. <laughs> the private jet that took me landed in people's land. Ah, uh, and they took glory for it. 
So when they snap me in Lagos, they snap me worry. So that you know where I go. Somebody called me and said, that I saw you in Enugu in private. I said, no. No, okay. It's not. It's not a God. I said, no. It's not a God. It's a worry. Just say worry. <laughs> so somebody said, you didn't give him what, what seed are you talking about? I, I know the way I should be treated. If you didn't teach me like that, I ignore you. But you can't reduce me. I know my content. I, am I saying something? I, I know the content of WF Kumui. Papa don't need to work a miracle before we honor him. He has it in his life. You carry it in value. You don't need to make noise about it. He speaks. So, there is something I want you to know about shadow with wings. Looking at the prodigal son, I, I want to look, I want to read an attractive scripture about the devaluation that go on. About, about the what? The devaluation that go on. You know where we came from? Some people think that the only value they have is money. Shameful thing. Shameful. If you use your whole life to look for money, then you are a servant of Satan. Because whatever that you are using your life to look for, we give you destiny. Let me say it again. Whatever you use your life to look for, that one is your God. That is why somebody came into the church and gets absent minded. He want money. How can he be rich? You're looking for the wrong thing. He says, seek the kingdom first. Then other things should be added. Now, this intelligence is not being talked about in the church, so we're going around ourselves. So, do you know what the pastor is looking for? The pastor is looking for a big congregation. Listen, a lot of churches are big, and the men of God have not gotten value yet. Those that gathered there have not still become valuable. You see, because we will look beyond you, the people gathering around you, to see your personal content. Sometimes I listen to some sermons. I said, if these people are not disenchanted, is it isn't they went to send to here two hours? What is new about it? This is children's preaching. You read somebody's book and you're trying to say back what the person said. Is it why you're gathering people? You should be inspired. But because they don't want to pay. Revelation cannot be given to people except they pay. You are going up and down yesterday from one supermarket to another supermarket answering call. How can you preach a good sermon? If you didn't pay attention to God, He will not pay attention to you. I don't know what I'm saying. Something I said, He will not. I, I was writing one chapter of a book yesterday, until it was after two. And I was saying, I'm going to write the second chapter. Something someone said, ah, Don't write it now. Uh, another, another person, another spirit, God said to me, say, If you don't write it, you will not be happy. So go and sleep 30 minutes and come and start writing it. I was writing it to you seven. I was asking my brain. So why would so am I confused? Before I came here and I finished one chapter of your book. Can I tell you something? Huh? There is no place on air that is as, as important as awareness. But there are three things I want to say to us before I go into it. Signs of shadowing with wings. Number one, confusion. Two, wandering. Three, hatred, hatred of light, right? Lack of knowledge. Number four, visionlessness. Number five, valuelessness. Number six, lack of focus. Number seven, mind in deep, mind deeply in evil habits. Being part of heinous sins. Number seven, spiritual blindness. Y 
you are in the church after each service you are still in Lucas Army for 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 two years you're still smoking in their hair not even cigarettes Even when pitching is going on, you feel, still, you feel like smoking it. That is heinous. And it's not that you are just coming to church new. It's that you have been around. You've been eating communion here for two years. And you still have hunger to smoke in there. You are of great evil. If you don't turn from the earth, something terrible will happen. There are lifestyles you don't adopt at a particular time in your life. Don't be religious about it. I said there are lifestyles you don't adopt. Can children teacher take away this girl from, from the Kehari? I said there are lifestyles you don't adopt at a particular age in your life. You don't adopt it because you have outgrown it. If you stay with it, you become an evil to your destiny, not even to God. The prodigal son went astray. But I want to give you a gift from his intelligence. Before that boy went astray, he had intelligence. He had an awareness. I want to show you the awareness of that boy. Number one, 55. He made intelligent demand to a known source. 15, 11. Fifteen eleven of the book of Luke. Luke fifteen eleven. And he said, "A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, father yes. give me the portion of goods that fallen to me.' Yes, and he divided unto them his living." He, he, the boy went to where his source is. That means this boy recognized a particular source. Let me give it to you as a testimony. Since I became a preacher, I have never been discouraged. Ask me why. Huh? I trust only the source. And I want to encourage you to trust only the source. There is a magical way I can run this church now. It will blow into two services. I still know the way. But I care about the destiny of this church. What will happen to Lucas Army in eternity, in 10 years to come? Not Lucas Army, me. You see, the service will get to me when you have gone home. What, uh, who's the person that takes from what happened in the water is me. So there is something I will behave now. I will force it after church. Because whatever you give out returns to you. The boy went to a sus and said, give me what is mine. And the source didn't hesitate. Because the boy had the right from awareness. Now, listen. A lot of people live on earth without awareness and i want to show you two things again about what the boy did again about awareness i'm not preaching the story of the prodigal son but i'm talking about shadowing with wings how many times will god give you instruction concerning heaven you were fasting and fasting and fasting and god instructed you 
during fasting and this is how you will live your life you stop that fast and embark on that in only two months and love the way and then when things didn't go on the way you want it after two years you started fasting and god came back and said the same thing and why didn't you tell him that it will take being valueless for the divine to keep repeating an instruction for the divine to keep the bible says in 17 in 1517 of the book of luke he said when he came to himself that is where now excuse me the, I would like you to look at that scripture very well. The prodigal son came to himself because he knew himself. All the people who shadow with wings don't know themselves. They can enter into any church. They can eat communion anywhere. They can take anybody serious because they don't know themselves. Excuse me. The prodigal son went, went prodigal but he came back because before he went astray he had the basics there is no prosperity without instruction the first gift god gives to a man a woman he will raise up is the gift of instruction so god believes he has blessed you when he instructs you on how to use your money when he instructs you on how to live the life of a shape of the shepherd of locusts and the shepherd of mankind is an instructed life if i must remain shepherd there is a way i must live even if i don't live that way all the time i still know that i still know the way May God bless me for telling you. Just know that this is what God wants from you. Even when you are not doing it, have it at the back of your mind. Even when you choose, you chose to ignore it. Just know that this is expected from you by the divine. The prodigal son left and he was able to come back because the value of his source was in his mind. I don't so much thank God for what I just said. So, this is the boy's recognition. Verse number 18. I want to see his recognition. What he taught. You might be thinking that I'm, talk, I'm, I'm just teaching. There are, I've met so many people, even up to pastors, who are so senseless that they don't even understand the basics. A pastor is pastoring church and he's finding it difficult to pay tight of tight on Monday morning. So when the church finished, his senselessness makes him to spend even the tight of tight. His senselessness also make him to use the building offering that was given for building to solve family problem. Very shameful. And then he want God to take him far. He want ordinance to take him far. If we built one or four rooms and they built Sulare the Church. And we are building this church, and I was the one who built Kanu Church. Did he, did I not know how it happened? So I, am I? Am I? I, 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 I am I a journey just come in building? This is my gift. 
I don't do two projects at a time. And I will never get stranded. It's a knowledge. Uh, I'm going to transfer another money to the building account tomorrow morning. I already know when it is nine. The money I will transfer is not the one that you give in the offering. I've already kept it four months ago. It's not for buying shoe. So don't even think it's a product of luck or faith. Faith grows on fat. It has to be there. Because if faith is a substance, faith is. If you look at 18, 19 of Luke, he said, And I will arise and I will go back to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against the heaven and earth, and before they go ahead, and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son, make me as one of the higher servants. Yes. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. No, there is something I want to bring. I want to bring in 17. I didn't bring. I'm not hurrying up. I will bring the point and then I will close. Not, not shouting. I, I, I said, let me with lay hand. I command you. Go. I have not seen anybody who stayed in it who stayed in it longer than he supposed that he didn't die by it. But the ignorant church when somebody died to ignorance they say he went to be with the Lord. When actually it is darkness that killed the man. Seventeen, and when he came to himself, he said, "How many hired servants of my father have have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger?" That is awareness. Where the boy, where the boy got astray, he had consciousness of how rich his father is. That is awareness. So he was shadowing with wings because he wasn't told they are just living. He wasn't told. But then his awareness didn't allow him the planting of revelation. Now hear me. Anywhere there is lasting dominion on earth, every man had it. Let me. I'm sorry about trying to talk about myself again. Before 30 years, when this ministry started, I knew what would take me far. It was there like everyday thought. I also know what will kill me. And the choice was before me. Ah, if you want to be poor, if you want to be rich, don't you know what will make you rich? If you want to be poor, you also know what will make you poor. Now, any of them you choose, you will live with it. Sometimes some people try to say, Oh God, why did you abandon me? He didn't abandon you. You crushed your life. What you put on the table is bringing pain. If you change, it will, things will still change. Why I am on the altar is to tell you that you can alter it. Stop buying what you don't need. I've already told you that building is going on and you want to say, when I preach preaching on Sunday, I will say, happy, tell me happy birthday, happy birthday, then I will go. And you want to give me a seat, don't buy me a shoe. There's a building going on. Completing the building is my desire. 
this junk I'm wearing, I have so many of it. Just ordinary junk. I'm not telling you to think like me. There are so many people that met me in 29 years of preaching. They ignored me, walked to another church. When they see their pastor, sit down with them, they will remember me. That remembering me is enough. Some of them come to look us and me to fight in a church where a man doesn't have a wife. If you come to a church where a man doesn't have a wife and fight, what about if you go to a church where a man had a wife and had seven children? You came to a church where there is no fight. You created the fight. Because you are a devil. <laughs> I don't have five and children. <laughs> Everything you have is from me. And you still want to fight. Since the building is going on, how much have you given? You didn't give money. You want to fight? You're there, you're thanking God for the beauty. You've not given anything. You still want to fight. Can I say something to you? The prophets we read about in the Bible kept a life. They didn't get popular, but they were preserved. I prefer to be preserved than to be popular. Because I will remain into ageless time. Into. Now, I would like you to look at the boy. Let me leave the boy now. And let us look at the, pre the precarious situation of that particular boy and, and see how his father looked at him. I'm, I'm sharing on shadowing with wings on how his father. How his father looked at him in verse number 19. The father looked at him as three ways. Number one, this boy was still alive. The, boy, the father see him as somebody who is lost. That is one. The father see him as somebody who is dead. That is number two. The father also see him as somebody who is destroyed. So somebody can be alive. And he's described in these three ways. Very pathetic. Very, very pathetic. In Luke chapter 15, 24. They are all there. For this my son was He said, there. for this my son was. That means, that means when that guy strayed away. Into shadow with the wings. His father saw him as what? somebody who is dead and then he came back and saw him as somebody who is who is lost and then and then and he's alive again and then began to do what and somebody who is also destroyed because he lack understanding Twenty one sixteen of the book of proverb Proverb, he said, the, the man that wander out of the way of understanding shall, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. In the congregation of the dead. How do you overcome shadowing with wings? Number one. How do you deal with it? Number one is vision. Vision. Vision is foresight with insight based on insight. It is having clear interpretation of what your future look like. It is having clear interpretation of what your future look like. On Friday after the meeting, we went to pray in the site. 
and I shared with them on the builder sanctuary. I'm going to repeat part two of it on Tuesday. The builder's sanctuary. I was sharing with them. I said the capital difference between man and animals, between man and animals, is vision. It's not married wife. After all, dogs are dogs are married. Dogs relate to them. Lions tend the ticket. Having children doesn't make anything serious. Lions are giving birth. Oh, looking for money to feed your children. Lions go from ticket to go and look for animals to, to feed other cubs. <laughs> it's, not, it's not much. It's not much. Uh, starting a business in Lagos and and uh, or anywhere and buy a car and the carry taking your children to school is not it's not what makes you great. That's an ordinary life. That life functions in animal realm. But higher dimension. It doesn't steal much. But that is vision. That brings immortality. Something that connects you to God and future. Something that when a man derails, he takes him back. I don't know what you're hearing me. Something, a mirror. It's it, it just like, I would like you to listen. I, I Before I came out, you know, I'll go to a mirror. I've never trusted adjusting my tie without a mirror. It, no, but I, I, I can't, it, it's not possible. It's not possible for me to put tie on my neck and think of coming out. Maybe, maybe somebody hear what I said. Ah. Huh? The tie, I will always need the mirror to adjust it. I say I will always not to adjust it, to adjust the shape, to adjust the tie, to keep the tie in between the neck, in, in between the collar. The collar. I have to, I have to go there to put it. It's even there. I know that some part of my clothes, in the neck is not properly folded. It happened this morning. Vision is like a mirror. Through which you will adjust yourself on daily basis. It is from there that God speaks to you. Please. I'm not going to make any effort to do long preaching. I've stopped it. So get whatever you get from the first I head wash. Listen. I will never in my life pay attention to Satan. I've shared this before many times. When I was reading one of Dr. Mai's book, Peace to Dr. Mai's, Dr. Mai said in that, when he was introducing that book, because I like intro, introduction of a book, I get everything I want from introduction. When Dr. Mai was trying to introduce that particular book, he said that, that he decided not to mention the name Satan in the whole of that book and other related names. Uh, he said up to the level of committing grammatical error, so there are some of my books I consciously refuse to mention the name of Satan, like Infinite Intelligence. If you have my book on Infinite Intelligence, I wrote it about eight, eight or nine years, eight years ago. I said I this I, I brought that word from miles. He said I made up my mind not to mention the name Satan in this book or other related names, up to the level of committing grammatical error. For me, I can alter the meaning of something instead of putting the name Satan in it. So I made up my mind that this author will not bother about Satan. Because all that bothered about him didn't win him. There is no, there is no one preacher anywhere that paid attention, unnecessary attention to Satan that didn't die young. If a man refuse infinite intelligence, manifold wisdom, and focus on a cherub, an ambitious cherub that didn't become what he wants, the person will become less than Satan. It, 
why you should listen to me because this intelligence I'm sharing is not made available to the church. I say it's not. No, it's not made available. That's why you should listen. Listen because this intelligence is not made. No, it's not made available to the church. That's why you should listen to it. I had pain. I had pain in my heart when I was getting ready for this message. Can you look up? Let me help you. The pastors have emphasized sin as focus of believers. So everybody is struggling to live without sin. But the challenge of God is not sin. The challenge of God is two things. Visionlessness and lack of knowledge. You cannot be holy if you are blind. You cannot be holy if you are visionless. And let me do emphasis. Sin kills people. But visionlessness and lack of knowledge destroys people. I think destruction, destruction is a higher evil. Oh. Uh, what, what did, what, I, you, should, you should not thank God for me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 18.4 of Ezekiel. Oh my Riga. Hallowed be your name. Onye na warrior. Hallowed be. Ezi abu mi embo. Verse 4 of the book of Ezekiel. For behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so shall also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that sin it. That is just death. 29 18 of Proverb. There is something more terrible than death. But the pastors are not talking about it. 2918 where there is no vision yes yes now the word perish is a bigger evil this is something that continue to hurt somebody beyond the grave in case you don't know, everybody will die a particular kind of death. So, death, not God's problem. Destruction, precarious, terrible. It is not possible for a young man that have not lived meaningfully to escape damages even when he's still breathing if you are 40 years you're looking at me and you're 40 years and you have not preserved some part of your life unto immortality i don't care the amount of money you have in the bank there is wastage money doesn't give you immortality vision does and don't forget that <laughs> Satan don't fear rich men the presence of immortal men dress him because the part of a man that cannot be touched must not be touched I said the part of a man that can be touched must not a man that cannot lack a man that must not lack what he need can lack what he need you don't subject it to lock 
there are some things I must not I must not lack if I walk in the obedience of vision. If I obey, obedience goes around to bring it back to me. Excuse me, how do I kneel down? How do I kneel down in a place praying for two hours? And God will say that I'm not praying. How can he say it's not my voice? That I come into the open night and keep on hushing for two hours. Ah, even the demons will know that I'm there. The command. Listen, you win war. You win the battle of your life from your value. What I say you do. From. Because God will not fight for you. All the people who believe that God will fight their battle are already discouraged. God doesn't fight men's battle. Men fight with their value. Hosea chapter 4 6. I'm going to go away from it. The book of Hosea. Hosea 4 6. My people are destroyed for what? Two things. Now, lack of knowledge and visionlessness, they are more terrible than sin. In the first place, you cannot, it is two of them that connect you to God. And if you are not connected to God, God will not care about the way you live. Please, let, can, you, can you look up? If you, are, if you are in tune with the war between Russia and Ukraine, a lot of pastors are now doing prophecy. Huh? Some people have seen it as war between Gog and Magog and all manner of prophecy. Now they are trying to relate it with the Bible because of the superiority of Putin, because of the focus of Putin, because of the honor of Russia. Huh? So, how do you, how do you ascribe honor to an illiterate woman in the village? Who is claiming to be holy and she's inside the pit of ignorance there is no newspaper in her house all the days of her life she have not seen light and she's claiming to be holy they are in doom Because light have not shined in her heart. Let me let me say this. People like Apostle Paul died. Peter died. Even Moses died. Joshua. They died. If I say this, I will jump out of it. They died. But they were not forgotten. Because of vision. Whatever that killed them is associated is, with, is associated with imperfection. Let me say again. I said whatever that killed them is associated with associated with what? Imperfection. But the Bible remembered them. Because their visionary assignment have already preserved them. Let me come this way. Rehab was a harlot. Only her eyes, visionary eyes, to know the honor of those two spies, connected her to the genealogy of Jesus, and it made her other business to be forgotten because eyes bridged her from the past. Magdalene was sinful, but demons too possess eyes to treat Jesus the way he should be treated bridge her from that past Ruth was a widow eyes to know the difference between the Jews and the Moabites following Naomi huh? bridge her Tiku has so many wives. To 
Enugu is not an angel. But we must choose between two of them. <laughs> uh, in case you don't know, Tunde Bakari didn't get one vote. Tunde Bakari didn't. And he said God asked him to contest. But he didn't get. <laughs> that means Tunde Bakari will vote either Adiku or excuse me uh, out of the people we are voting good men Peter will be fine he's not close to victory there is nobody who is sensible that should pay attention to Peter be except mad men To be a senator, a, a, if Peter B is running senator of Anambra North, Anambra North, <laughs> well, we can consider him. But if a Sokoto man, a Katsina man, and somebody from Medugri and Benue State and and Akwaibon and Calabar from the village of Ekiti state and even an Ambra village we vote don't forget that democracy is a business of money because it is sharing of dividend somebody said they were buying votes i said why would the vote be sold when it is of dividend that is aneke, aneke, yukike. It's buying and selling. So you have to buy. You have to, you have to buy before you sell. Can I, can I help you with something? The reason that some people are frustrated is because they don't understand certain levels in time. Nigeria is not where we want. But we, we should accept where we are. I just need writing that we evolve. I say we are okay where we are. We are moving slowly and gradually with time. Maybe we will stop buying vote later, but we should still buy now. Because that is where we are. And uh, we need we need we need Tunubu now you see because Tunubu understand how to manage criminals <laughs> bet me if Tunubu becomes president kidnapping will reduce because kidnap because Nubu can dole money to kidnappers and give them job. He can get this he can now kidnap a man five. Near appointment. Great Ndaboro. Ndiaboro Nana five five naira to keke Niro Lagos. The problem of people is to look for the perfect in the midst of very deep darkness. If you if you get something that is too bright to shine on something that is very dark, that light will wound them. So if a life is dark, nay light is much more. That's why I'm about to stop. So that somebody will not forget them down around. No?
They said the, the Igbos went to where Ebana to vote. Their delegates sold, sold their vote. I said the delegates sold their vote for two reasons. All they are no bala. Number one. Number two, even if they didn't sell, they will not still win. So how can I have no get that they sell? Let me open some of a lady's eyes there. The value of land is more important than religion. Because religion thrives on the value of lands. That is why all the churches that have dominion in the world came to Lagos. Lagos is the apostolic city of Nigeria. Anything that is important that didn't come to Lagos will not reign. Because it's a city of value. And God relates with value. So I'm talking about winning with wings. Do you know the pain of ignorance? Do you know the pain of being valueless? Please, can you look up? If the service ends, don't worry about holiness. Run after value. You have to be valuable before people can look at your life closely. Let me say again. I say you have to be valuable before can look, people can look at your life closely. How many wives did David have? Huh? How many wives? Up to the level of killing somebody's husband because of the woman. And then God turned back and said, He's a man after my heart. I am not telling you to kill a man and take his wife. But I'm trying to tell you that you should look at value. Some girls are suffering because they have followed some chewing gum boys. And been doing love, love. Until someone doesn't have money to pay house rent. stumbling ends we're talking about shadow with wings with the blind okay can you say praise God can you say praise God okay okay let me stop let me tell you one story let me tell you one story and I will stop you know one day the Babylonians the Babylonians started they came to themselves. They recognized their ability. They said, we will build a city and a tower and then we will be strong enough to meet God. Each time people want to get to me with religious with recently, each time people want to get to me with religious emotion, it hurts me very deeply. It hurts me. It hurts me when people, when you're telling a young girl, a young man, that what is keeping you down is a particular character that is evil. And he's trying to bring religious sentiment on it. It hurts me very deeply. These people said, we are going, the Bible said they burn their mother thoroughly. And they, they were building. Excuse me, God didn't help them. Because they were men. It was not God that helped David kill Goliath. No. It was an eighth value of David. It was not God that helped Jesus die at the cross. It was the preparation of the man. Before Jesus or David or Esther, 
there was Babylonians. The Bible says in 11.6 of the book of Genesis that God should not restrain the imagination of man. That God should not do what? Huh? What I'm emphasizing in this meeting, I feel like shouting, is to tell a man to be part of his life. And that's where I'm stopping. Brandish your mind and use it. I was telling them the other day. I said, I've met local Sami pastors who get angry and uh, do bickering unnecessarily. I keep on telling them, I said, the level at which you get angry. If you face prayer with that tenacity, you will achieve result. So stop squandering your emotions negatively. The, the Babylonians said, We will. All right, 11. 11, 6. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you look up? People don't. When I was young, a preacher. Somebody will come to me and say, Shepard, you see what I will be? You see what I will be? I'm going to be too much. I will say, why not? Faith. The God will do it. Nobody tells me that anymore. I already know what you will be when I see you. People live out what they will be. I say, people do what? Ah, people live out. Ah, I come here every night because of what I will be. I try to live it out. I don't want to separate from it. I don't want to I don't want to separate my life my destiny from the way I live my life that's what I'm preaching I, I, I don't want my destiny to be in the hand of God I want God to help me fulfill it because it is mine so if it's mine then I'm not going to leave it for God I am going to use my human value do you know the human value of the Babylonians Make God upset. So he scattered them. But these two things, since God scattered them, have not ended on it, and that's where I'm stopping. Visualization that bring actualization. Visualization. Or actualization. Through visualization. Or visualization. That bring actualization. Actualization through visualization. I, I, I listened to myself on radio this morning, inspiration. Two, two of them, keys, inspiration. But when I was listening to inspiration, the last part, ah, I said, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing light that much. The last grandstand, awesome. I was happy. To God be glory for that. Listen. Nobody, when you say visualize, it is this. Nobody sees anything clearly looking at so many directions at a given time. Let me say it again. Nobody sees anything clearly. Nobody achieves anything outstanding, minding so many things. You have money and a lot of things are coming on that money. Africans hear me. Africans know how to put their need on others. They know how to scavenge. In as much as you will solve people's problem, don't allow people to scavenge you. Let me say it again. I said, in as much as you will solve people's problem, don't allow people to make their responsibility your own 
Because that is scavenging. That is demonic. Somebody cannot create a problem and want another person to solve it. Excuse me. Those who are not seeing anything clearly will not stop living in regret because they will not stop solving problems that are not direct to them. I was sharing with them, I said, if I am your father, and every night I wake up to pray, and every night you sleep, and we're in the same house, after three months I will disown you. I will believe that you are not from me. If I marry you as a wife and every night it is 12, I wake up to pray and every night you sleep. If you do it to me after two months, I will know and my love for you will fade out. Do we fade without speaking? Two people who are not made for themselves must not come together. If you're a lion, don't marry a goat. Your life as a goat is acceptable. But that goat must not live with a lion. Can I ask you to stand? Oh, good to go. Things that doesn't look alike. <laughs> Things that doesn't look alike must not come must not come together now excuse me don't lose your value to be kind on, on tuesday i will come here to teach six times without note i did it on friday friday i taught six times on tuesday not seven times without note let me repeat what i said let me repeat what i said two things i said i want to repeat if there must be actualization the image should be formed in your heart through looking you should it, there's a formation because it is a formation that gives your inner man strength uh, every battle that is won is won from inner strength that is what from inner strength and uh, if you don't look at so many things at a given time you will not you will not be weak every mental weakness is born from confusion i said every mental weakness is conceived and born from confusion So the person who believed that God has sent him, you to him as a Messiah. When the world, what connected you to that? There is no city in Nigeria that beg money or we are begging. Begging is directed as part of a culture like Kano, northern Nigeria. Yet that is a place that has produced two outstanding billionaires in Nigeria. That means there are Several needs that don't go there. Ignored. I said there are. There are. There are several needs. There are several needs ignored. If you.
I say, where Satan has? So, how do you know? First of all, don't take, don't take charge of people's life. Don't take off. The, parent, the proverb say, if somebody wants to drown, and two hands is inside the water, don't help him. A mother that wants to drown, that must be helped. Must be struggling to come out. Raising his hand up. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And then be struggling, jumping up. Yes, jumping up. Yes, saying, I am available for help. Who is helping me? He's jumping. And then you, you give helper. You put your finger on his finger. And then he will support you to come out. If his two hands is inside the water, he will drown you. Because if he is ready to sink, if that guy is ready to sink, and uh, you put him, you put your hand on him, he takes his weight on you. And those who drown with others are those who are not seeing anything clearly. Those that drown with others are those who are not seeing. You married a wife, you are so senseless, you got your wife pregnant to children you cannot train, and you call me on phone to help you pay school fees. It is because God will punish you. didn't know you don't have money for school fees when you were getting the woman that doesn't mean I, I don't help people I help people I help people who are in the part of my sight who are where you know I buy rice every month and I do money I do money here right here I don't want to hear ahead. We went to Galilee and those villagers refused communion. I blessed and then took rice. <laughs> that is what I mean by hell. Now, if they ignore communion and took rice, how far can ordinary rice? They say we don't believe in immortality, but you came to the ground of immortality to come and take rice. Our rice will hook you. Uh, next month I will see there and I will see buy rice. <laughs> Even bigger rice. You're going to pray in a minute and say, Lord, I'm not going to shadow with wings. I will not shadow away wings. Every time I see how they breaking, I say, say, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I curse, I curse every evil. I curse every weakness. I curse every manipulation that is fighting the destiny of Africa. That is fighting our destiny. Somebody hear me. I, I, I was in a vision. On, on Friday, I was very strong on prayer there with people. And I was bad also too. So I shared and we prayed ferociously. And I have Lucas. I, I had an encounter. I want you to pray. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I release lion angels. In my heaven. To destroy every evil in that heaven. Can you go ahead and pray that prayer that way? I believe the lion and 
angels I release lion 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 angels in my heaven somebody go on to destroy all the demons in that heaven so somebody bring the gelatora then do send to pray na yakaba oh lion angels angels of life and immortality oh let there be volcanic eruption Let there be an invasion of that heaven. The Yoko heaven, the Uchu heaven. Let more ferocious angelic personality. Armies of heaven. Let them arise with the wing of strength. Destroy the sanctuaries. The sanctuaries of fallen gods. The sanctuaries of fallen men. The sanctuaries of ancient spirits. Every dedication of witchcraft. Vehement invasion. All oh, soldiers of immortality. Come from the height of heights. Come with your failing strength. Come vigorous. Tear down satanic structures that support poverty and shame. Satanic structures. Hey! of immortality soldiers 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 somebody cry to soldiers oh soldiers set them on fire the wicked works of darkness in the heaven of his Christian. Oh, yeah. seed. Say with me, oh God. Everything that Satan scattered around me, I gather them together by fire. Can I hear you gather them together? I 
In the name of Jesus, can we rise, stretch your hand? Say with me, Lord Jesus, I'm about to eat to you in bread that I might live forever. I recognize your power, the power of your blood. I am totally redeemed. There is no sin in me. Because I am hiding behind the cross. As I eat you, Jesus, in bread, I am alive forever. Father, anyone that eats you in bread is alive forever. In the name of God the Father. The name of God the Son. The name of God the Holy Spirit. I can't hear somebody shout a big amen. Father, thank you for the blood. Anyone that drinks this blood is alive forever. Amen. Prosper beyond measure. Amen. Have dominion that will not end. Amen. In the name of God, the Father, Son, Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. That's wonderful name. Jesus. That's wonderful name. Jesus, that's wonderful name. Jesus, there is no other name I know. Wonderful name, Jesus. That's wonderful name, Jesus. That's wonderful name, Jesus. There is no other name I know. That's wonderful name, oh. that's wonderful name. Yeah. 
Oh, when I keep in court
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What about? Has it taken? Has it taken? Huh? Is it your son? Has, he has taken. Hallelujah. Can we rise thank God? Let's thank God for this service. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Can you thank God for the communion? Thank Him for the, the covenant. The covenant that was renewed, covenant of life and immortality. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Somebody show. All right. Can you take up your building offering? God bless you. If you build a house for God, God will build a house for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Can you lift it up? Say with me, Lord Jesus. If I build a house for you, you will build for me. In Jesus' name. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Chimle chimle oyo yo chimo. Chimle chimle oyo yo chimo. Ine mere mo di mo manado, o di mo manado, o di mo manado yo yo chimo. Ine mere mo di mo manado, o di mo manado, o di mo manado yo yo. Chimle chimle oyo yo chimo. Chimle. Chimle chimle oyo yo chimo, chimle chimle oyo yo chim. Ibine mo de mo manaro, o de mo manaro, o de mo manaro yo yo. Ibine ne mo de mo manaro, o de mo manaro, o de mo manaro yo yo. Hallelujah. Yes, it's more. In a moment, I know. 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 I
everybody has a gather for Shepard for a wonderful ministration. It is a privilege of our life to have Shepard. We will remain very grateful. Sir. Put your hands together for Jesus, even as you're here in church today. You, you, you can take your seat. Tell your neighbor you're welcome to church. Also, when you see wonderful ministration, God will empower you more to give us even more of that as it does. In Jesus' name. If today is your first day of worshiping with us on a Sunday, can you raise your hand up? Today is your very first Sunday with us. Can you be standing on your feet? Today is your very first Sunday with us. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Can you go to that side? You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. If you are among those that uh, encourage these ones to come to church, can you join even in welcoming them? Can you stand up and join in welcoming them? You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you. The glory of the Lord, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. Oh, yes, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. Oh, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. Oh, we are the glory. We can see all over you. Glory. The glory of the Lord. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. On behalf of Shepherd of Mankind, you're welcome to Locust Army International. Your life will not remain the same again in Jesus' name. Put out together for Jesus. The local Sam is a corporate company of Messiahs, born to raise an altar for the capital Messiah in the heart of Africa. She's an end time Messianic church, born to the glad rapture and the millennial kingdom of God. She's bent on making sure that the land of Judah is declared on earth as the last Adam. The covenant of eternal life, Zoe, protection, preservation, and the immortalization of mortals is at work in local time international. Jesus Christ has tasted death for all local soldiers. So death must not be allowed to exert dominion over us. Put down hands together for Jesus. Jackets of life and immortality are continuously being distributed in the midst of the army. Today, in this service, jacket of immortality was distributed to everyone as the message was going on. The Lord of Harvest calling on this army to a life for practical evangelism and soul winning. Every soldier of this army must understand that this exercise of soul winning is very paramount and must be taken seriously. It is time to fish for the mast because Lion or tribe of Judah was then on it a second time. Let's take our Paul's confession. Say to your neighbor, 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 God of life and mortality is in you, is with you. And always involved. Our weekly activities Monday School of Ministries, time 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Our teacher is no doubt but Reverend Dr. Chris Christian. Put your hands together for Jesus if you're excited. The School of Ministries will be going on at the same time in all the satellite campuses in Enugu, in Port Harcourt, Abuja, and Kano. Also, the online school will equally be joining. So if you're a member of the School of Ministry, you're encouraged. The time is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays, online teachings, so healing and miracle service. Time is 12 noon to 4 p.m. Join this program. Special prayers will be made for women seeking the fruit of the womb. And those that have counseling appointment with our shepherd, if you want to meet our shepherd for something important to you, 
and we want to meet him for special counseling. That is the period, Tuesdays, 12 noon to 4 p.m. Thursdays, the evangelism time is 12 noon, choir rehearsals time 5 p.m. Friday, our prosperity, 12 noon to 3, 3 p.m. It's always a wonderful period on Fridays, put down together for Jesus, join the hour of prosperity here by 12 noon to 3 p.m. Saturdays, band and choir rehearsals, time 5 p.m., pull up 2 p.m. Sunday like this, Holy Ghost Assembly, so online church service, time 10 a.m. Pledges and vow redemption, all pledges and vow made in Galilee 2022 at the Galilee campground, and all other pledges made towards the building project, even the New Jerusalem city. Put down to for Jesus. If you, if you go to the site, a lot is happening there, you might not be seeing it, but you see the quantity of material that are sinking down, then you know how much work we are doing there. Because of the nature of building we are going to have there, we are doing piling. Some of you might be waiting to see the blocks come up. The piling has to come go down first, so that the building will stand on those solid rock. That's what we have been doing, and very soon, the block will commence. If you made pledges, Put the hands together for Jesus. Awesome. Awesome. If you may pledge this towards the building project, some people have pledged so many things and they already redeemed it. Some people pledge sand, some cement, some other building materials. So if you have not taken anyone, you are encouraged to do so and they write your name in that book of record. We encourage those who may financial pledges to please with him. Don't wait until the money is complete because the project is already on. We need your donations, we need your contributions, and God will reward you accordingly in Jesus' name. The building account number is there on the screen, local summit, ministries, Eco Bank, account number 4572006979. The regular program tag in his presence by our shepherd's theorems in several channels nationwide. Put our God for Jesus. In Lagos, is Inspiration FM channel 92.3. Time is 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. on Sunday. Then Kiss FM channel 98.9. Time 6 to 6.30 a.m. In Onisha, is Wazobia FM channel 93.7. Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. In Enugu, is Urban FM channel 94.5. Saturdays, 9 p.m. In Port Harcourt is Wave FM, channel 91.7, Saturdays, 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. In Aba is Real FM, channel 99.1, Sundays, 7.30 a.m. In Kanu is Real Power FM, channel 106.5, Saturdays, 9 a.m. Also in Kanu, AIT, channel 29, the television station, time Saturday, 9 a.m. Mbauchi is Albaka FM, channel 97.5, Saturdays, 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Abuja is DSTV channel, Wajobia Marks, channel 259, showing Saturday, 12 noon to 12.30 p.m. You can actually listen to most of these stations if you download the Radio Garden app on your phone. The media star, all the ministry books by Shepard, and so Mr. Practices are all available at the media bookshop. You know, our Shepard has written well over 260 books and he's still writing, put down together for Jesus. Some of these best selling. You can find these best selling books in our bookshop. You also find CDs and DVD messages, calendar, t shirts, stickers, Zoe Oil, Zoe Mantle, and Zoe Bank. We encourage you to buy for yourself and for your friends as a tool of evangelism. The following department and need your volunteers who would like to serve as church workers. The evangelism and the follow-up team, the choir department, the central cleaner department, the ocean department, security department, transport department, facility maintenance department, decoration and beautification department, band and priest team. Interested persons should meet the resident pastor to signify their interest. Also, the children department need more teachers to join in building the faith of our children. 
If you desire to join the children department, you're calling me the resident pastor. 2022 prophetic declaration. May I invite all of us to be standing at this time and then to decree after me. 2022 prophetic declaration. 2022 is a year of fire, swords, and judgment. It is a year that judgment written shall be executed upon my adversaries. In year 2022, God will unleash innumerable company of angels to lead me in all my ways. Those that dig pit for me, poverty, crying, sorrow, pain, bondage, sicknesses, and death shall be whole and total. The wrath of Lion God of life and immortality shall be extremely fierce on those that oppose me. 2022 is a perfect year for amazing miracles. Whatever labor has to do shall blossom and prosper abundantly. In 2022, I shall be healthy and rich just as mountains surround Jerusalem. The fire of God's presence will always surround me. Invaders from my life. 2022 is a year of new things. It's a year of joy without limits. Because I put my trust only on God. He will not fail me. In 2022, God will surely give my enemies a permanent place of defeat under my feet. Not only I shall not die, nothing good around me shall die. Underneath the arm of the Lord is my refuge forever. It shall be a refuge forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Put the hands together for Jesus as you take your seat. The church official website is up and running. The site contact address is www.localsummit.org. We should encourage our friends and relations all over the world to visit the website. We also encourage to advertise our church programs on social media links. The youth will be having a special regional vision. This Friday, put down together for your use. The vigil is on Friday, 24th of June, and it's time worship His Majesty. Time, 10 p.m. All the youths in the region will be gathering here for that program, so you cannot be anywhere else if you are a youth in the house. The sanctuary cleaning, the Jerusalem women have published a list of those who will be cleaning the sanctuary by next Saturday, so you can check the notice board and see where your name falls. Also, the church bulletin, the has graciously approved that we can now allow adverts on the church bulletin. So half page is 5,000 Naira and full page is 10,000 Naira. Group evangelism, the monthly group evangelism, youths will first Saturday of every month, Jerusalem women will be third Saturday of every month, then the Zionists, that's the men fellowship, last Saturday of every month. Of course, we know that next Sunday, our shepherd will be adding another Zoe, he put it out together for Jesus. It's going, it's, going, it's going to be awesome. I, I've, I've seen some people, visitors are already arriving for the program. For those of us in Lagos, we should be ready to receive many more visitors. And then to that effect, the church executive will have a very brief emergency meeting after the service. So we encourage to wait behind for a very brief meeting. My announcement will be made by the shepherd. Put down together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That birthday program have no ceremony. Can I ask you to stand so that you now know what you're meeting for? Amen. 
I'm going to have a short prophetic time before I come into the head wash. Listen. Listen. Light is very important. Satan is a deceiver. He has deceived people not to mind things that are necessary. Open your eyes. Death is not an end. It's just the beginning of a journey. Don't allow Satan to deceive you. I'm going to do a mild deliverance before I bring short head wash, short time. If you don't have water when we are washing, you are not washing with my water. You are going to wash with your own water. Put on your own head. Wash with your mantle. So it's not a ritual. If you don't want to wash when we are washing, be watching. It's not a compulsory. But I'm not washing you with my water. So you wouldn't say I take your I took your lock. You're going to be washing with your own water. Wash with your own mantle. Praise the Lord. And the Kennedy have already told you that upgrade police on those who are not airing constantly. So that you will be knowing those you will be announcing on the radios. I've told you secretly. He will be showing you on the board so that you will not know those who are air, who are still airing. Praise the Lord. So that will not look like false people. We're not going to announce a radio station that is not airing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When I was Zitume Nama Dubrezi Zobrene Zukashakada To Bashakada Leara Akutuskinia Lebro Diso Prani Fedikaluski Standing on this altar Standing on this altar with the Lion of Judah Lobby Tikinisto Loria Brezi Fronoto Bradish Kanadoza The Lord asked me to see that I should ask somebody to pray Dikana or Brandy VC. If you're hearing me and you are in this place and you're struggling with life, every other strange hand that is fighting your life, I break that hand out of your life. I break that hand out of your life. Whatever that threatens your life shall be destroyed. If you are hearing me, a great sotola and a particular spirit is visiting you constantly just to reduce your years I separate your life from that visitation I didn't hear a big amen say so, oh you false power visiting my life I separate you from my life by fire let the God of life and the immortality destroy you now can I hear your power can I hear your prayer every power that wants to take your life that want to take your life satanic power that want to force you to die I separate you from that power I separate that woman from that power I separate that man from that power let your life be separated from that power little rosakata Every dedication to date, every dedication to short life, that dedication is condemned, is condemned by fire. That dedication is condemned. Every power that touch your life in seasons, negative satanic powers, I break that power out of your life. I break that power out of your life. I break that power out of your life. Every determination of the devil to take your life, that determination is judged. Somebody I can hear prayer. No, so so totally other baba. Say ya la 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 baba. Every connection you have with the angel of death, I severe the connection. Somebody I can hear prayer. Every connection, 
connection. Every connection. Every connection. Those who are fighting your life. Wherever they are fighting from. Oh God. Yes. Somebody from the altar of life and immortality. Naladada Babaya. Excuse me. Excuse me. Battle against the spirit of death doesn't end. Open your ears. When I tell you to pray that prayer, pray it with everything you have. Battle against death doesn't end. All great men are heroes. They are in the grave there. Now, the first form of defeat is accepting death. When you accept death, you give it power. Death is not omnipotent. It's an agent of the devil. Death is as evil as the devil. Now, you're going to pray prayer because I, I still saw it. You're going to pray and say, Lord, I go back to my family. Wherever agreement is made in that particular family concerning death, I crush that agreement. I judge the covenant. I set myself free from it. Can I hear your prayer? Every dedication that supports death. Every dedication that supports death. Every dedication that supports death. That dedication is broken. Broken by the sword of vengeance. Jesus has tested death for all men. So, oh, you spirit of death, you have no power over me. You have no power over me. You have no power over me. You have no power. You have no power over me. You have no power over me. You have no power over my family. I cross you in the realm of the spirit. I condemn you in the physical. I judge your wisdom. I condemn your wisdom. I lose my life from you. I command your push to end. Yes. Somebody go on, go on. La sosotoria rakapapapatara. Le yara toko papatalara. Ze yara to shakatatala. Libre kato ya shakatala. Ligre satana. Can you release fire? Can you release fire? Can you release fire? Against the angel of death. Somebody release fire. I release fire. I break the siege of death. I break the siege of death. I condemn the marks of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your heart to the altar and say, My life shall not be cut short. Say, Oh God of life and immortality. 
the life of Christ, Christ and call your name shall not be cut short. I lay my hand upon the horn of the altar of life and immortality. I destroy every cobweb. I destroy every incision. I destroy every spell. Cast upon my body. Can you begin to condemn the spell of sickness? Every spell cast on your eyes. Every spell cast upon your womb. Every spell cast upon your heart. Every spell cast upon your brain. Every spell cast on your destiny. The spell of darkness is broken. Yes. Somebody. Take away satanic spell. Every spell on my heart. On my heart. Every spell on my heart. I tear down the spell. Every spell on my heart. All your spell of darkness. Every spell on my body. Every spell on my understanding. I destroy the spell. Somebody a spell to be judged. So told you Baba. No so so told you Baba. Yeah la 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 Every spell on your head. Every spell in your eyes. Every spell in your chest. Every spell that makes you to bleed. Every spell in your womb. Every spell in your bones. Oh God, by fire. I destroy the spell. The spell of darkness. Shantoloria rakapapapapada. Le de 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 ya da da da. Ya da 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 ba 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 ba. Say allo sokoto. Libre grana. Fire. God of life and immortality. The spell of darkness shall not prosper around my life. Somebody lift up your voice. The spell of the enemy. The spell of the enemy. The spell of the enemy. I close up the connecting point between me and the devils. Fire! Man, so told you, da da ba ba ba. Yeah, de 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 da da da. Say yeah, de 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 bo santa la da da ba. Every determination of the devil to cut short my life. That determination is, uh, is destroyed. Every determination, every determination, every determination of the devil, every determination of the devil to cut short my life, every determination of the devil, every determination of the devil, every determination of the devil. Somebody, can you say to the elements that determination is judged? My life shall not be cut short. My life is my life. My life shall not be cut short. My life shall not be cut short. My life shall not be cut short. Yes. Somebody can hear your prayer. So shake it till that. Now the 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 baba. Say the 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 baba. Most so tell you the baba. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands up, me Lord Jesus. Evil shall not grow in my body. Sickness shall not multiply in my life. Can you go ahead and speak and say, Evil shall not grow in my body. Evil. Evil shall not grow. In the body of this Christian, evil shall not grow in my body. The negative 
nothing shall not prosper in my life. The negative shall not prosper in my life. Somebody, I can hear your prayer. The negative, the negative, the negative, the negative, the negative shall not prosper in my body. I am about to wash my head. Sir, sickness, you shall not prosper in my body. Somebody, I can hear your prayer. Mama, mama, I say, command that sickness to die. Command that sickness to die in your head. Command that sickness to die in your bones. Command that sickness to die in your stomach. Command that sickness to die in your heart. Oh, you evil sickness. I command you by fire to die. You will die in the service. Shatarada your hand, take your life in your hand. Take your life, take your life. Take your life in your hand. Take your life, rescue yourself. Fire! Every poison in my body, I command the poison to go out. Go out all your poison by fire. Go out, go out, go out. In the name of Jesus, every poison in the name of Jesus, every poison, you satanic mark of death, you incision of darkness. I release fire against you from the altar. I release fire, you destroy all the brethren, you destroy all. Let the fire of God's anger. Yeah. Somebody wake up. Every spell in your womb. Every spell in your eyes. Every spell in your bones. Every spell in your tissues. I command the spell to be removed by fire. Oh spell of darkness. Oh spell. Oh spell. Oh spell. Oh evil spell. Yes, shadowing around me. In the name of Jesus, I vomit every poison in my stomach. I vomit every poison in my stomach. I vomit every evil in my body. Can you go ahead and say, I vomit it now? As water come up on my head. Every poison in my body will go out. Every poison in my bones. 
Lord Lord as I pour water on my head every poison in my body yeah every poison in my teeth the shadow of darkness let it be broken somebody can hear prayer Mama, mama, sante. Zia da 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 basante. Zoya la da 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 basante. Libra da 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 sante. Sucheke dele ya sante. Somebody disagree with the devil. Poison will not remain. If you eat, if you eat any poison in the dream, if you eat any poison physically, I command that poison to go out. I command that poison to go out. Every food you ate in the dream that is satanic, you must vomit out that food in this church tonight, today. I release fire in your stomach. I release fire in your eyes. I release fire in your mouth. I release fire on your head. I release fire on your bones. I release fire everywhere. Fire everywhere. I release fire everywhere. I release fire everywhere. You shall not die but live. I say I release fire. I release fire. For me tell the poison now. I command your stomach. I command your stomach. I command your stomach. To loose that poison to God. My name is Chris Christian. With the sword of life and immortality. I release your stomach from that poison. Right now, 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 right now. poison every poison by fire by fire I command you to vomit it seven nights you are still vomiting three nights you are still vomiting now I command you let fire visit your stomach from the altar Maya Rosakatalaraba Lepranto Sokoto Yalara kakapatara Lesoro kopotono Gliara rosatara kapata Nadada baba sete Zeya dada baba sete Libre keto la tatapata Tete liere keto la dada baba sete Legre de 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 bosala rata baba. Legra do 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 bosanta la raba. Maruseke de la da 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 baba. Saya la kara. Loro do 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 baba baba bosanta la raba baba. God of life and immortality. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I am going to do a. I'm going to do a ministration. When I do this announcement in one minute. Villain the mysteries of creation. The origin of every spirit and every life. Possessing your possession. Be harmless as dove. God speaks the original root word. Losing the seal, volume number 13. Are you clapping? These tools are for your change. You shall not diminish. In Jesus mighty name. I didn't hear a shout of amen. Can you lift your hands? Say every chain on my hand. Every chain on my legs. Every burden on my shoulder. My name is Chris Christian. I am in the midst of immortal people. Say, oh, you demons of the family. 
you have no power over me can you begin to condemn say i condemn you i condemn you you have no power over me you have no power over my life can you go ahead and say to the devil you have no power over my life you have no power over my future you have no power over my destiny you have no power you have no power you have no power somebody can you release your can you release your voice and say you angel of poverty you cannot bring mockery into my life i condemn your activities around my family i set myself free somebody go ahead this is a deliverance section my name is Chris christian connected to jesus by the blood i shall not be in bondage so shakala rada bato shakata so ya rea prokoto naraba so ya reketeri aradaba somebody open your mouth and speak out in the name of jesus i preach immortality for more than 18 years i have never seen somebody who who died without being discouraged Satan introduce discouragement. He makes a child of God doubt God. Manage to come to church, but she does not believe anymore. Nobody dies without it. So death starts from depression. You lose excitement. You don't believe anymore. That is where it starts. You are dragging to church. Somebody said that man died. I said close your mouth. The man died before that day. Ah, if you are intelligent. Death doesn't kill me without preparing them. Ah. When you are getting tired in your heart. You don't know you are getting tired. hot here because I don't get tired. I fight the devil when I'm alone. If he inject anything into my heart, I'll come after him. Ah, somebody's in the church, he will go out 1,000 times. Not only you would know how to urinate. There are people I know, since I know them, they must, there is no day they come to church. They must not go out. And how long have I stayed have here? Look for who, excuse me, look for who. Greatness is a behavior. I didn't become shepherd by luck. I have the value. I said I have, I have the value to be shepherd. If you don't like me anywhere I go, I will be a relevant man. Anywhere. Professor of Politics, America. Uh, do you know what it means to write 280 books? And I have courage to have introduced that one. I, I want to pray one more prayer. All these who are sitting down, I'm not the one that we ask you to sit down. It's not me that I ask you. You have to stand up. Anywhere you are in this hall, you are going to stand up. In this hall. I'm the one that is still in charge. And you will not be able to discourage me. Because when I was preaching, you were sitting down. I said, when I was... You are still sitting down that time. When I was preaching, you were sitting down. Now I'm still standing here. Ah, the service will soon end now. If you go to your house, lie down. Just lie, lie down. Twelve, I don't wake up. Don't be lying down there. For what? No, no, don't, don't get up. Just be lying down. I've always told pastors. I say God does not bless a pastor from the pew. If God call you, He should support you. Stop begging people things. 
Ah, if you beg for this, what do you to do? You become arrogant. I said, is it that pastor? He will stick with me now after church. Meet you for what? How much do you have? He said, dead pastor. Beg you for what? Uh, you, you, you want to meet somebody uh, after service and you're still preaching to you. So what are you talking? The best is the one that should preach to you. Uh, somebody is paying your house rent and you're preaching to him. How? If what you know can't pay, can't pay house rent, then stop preaching and go and get money first. I told you that I'm transferring money there. You cannot give, you cannot give more than me. I'm the one that is building. If God didn't give me money, then I know He doesn't want His he doesn't want a house. It's not you that He will give. Except you want to support. Did you hear what I said? I said except you. Yes. When I say support, I'm not asking you to support now. <laughs> if I didn't tell you, some people believe that that foundation we are laying it for them. That's how people. That's how the reason. He said, "No, because they lay foundation. For. Who else? You know, the heart can cor get corrupt." I will never serve a weak God. That's why I'm a union. I don't want to serve a begging God. You're going to pray and say, Lord, whatever that close my hand, bury my life, delay my blessings, shall be destroyed by fire. Can I hear your prayer? shall be destroyed by fire that evil shall be destroyed by fire that Satan shall be condemned by fire oh God if you are God bring fire to this hall bring fire to this hall bring fire to this hall so shall raya So shato, so shato rakapata, ziala karana, koma peto shakata, le ya rakalada. I shall fear no evil. My life shall not be taken by any devil. My life shall not be taken by any devil. My life shall not be taken by any devil. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Somebody, Mama, my son, do 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 boss, send the letter the boss. She de 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 boss, send the letter the boss. Man de le de 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 boss, send the letter the boss, send the letter the boss. Man de le de 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 boss, so pray de 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 boss, send. Lantori de 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 boss, so pray. Mandrosushi. Some pray, so pray, deny. Angra ya lo do sekla do do bos. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Lando rossi, so pray ya dalama. Toma ya do sidi, sidi ya tola. Oh God, oh God. I break every evil covenant. Somebody, you may be seated. I destroy every evil covenant. I destroy every evil covenant. I destroy every evil covenant. 
walking against my life walking against my family walking against my life i come against evil i'm not hearing your prayer evil covenant can i hear your prayer dedication can i hear you say rescue my head call your name and say chris chris and rescue your head i can't hear your prayer rescue your head rescue your head rescue your head i rescue my head i rescue my head i rescue my head from every satanic dedication can you go ahead and rescue your head I rescue my head. I rescue my head. I rescue my head. In the name of Jesus. Can you pour oil in your water? Now put your mantle. Put your mantle inside your water. And then shout me Lord Jesus. I rescue my head from every evil that shortens a man's life, that brings bad luck to a man, that brings sickness to a man. I, 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 Christian, I deliver my head from death, from bad luck, from evil, from sickness. I shall pour water on my head. I deliver my head from death. Say, so, oh, you head of Christ, Christian, call your name. I deliver you from all evils. Go ahead and pour water now. Somebody close that grave. Close that grave. Close that grave. Somebody close that grave around you. Close that grave in your family. Pour water on your head. Close the grave. Somebody who is hearing me, you shall not die. You shall not die. Wash up the covenant of death now. Brush, 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 
in the name of Jesus stand up stand up where you are stand up look here a, a, an angel just came to me an angel just came to me and asked me to tell you to ask ever whatever you want that shall be done before another Sunday lift up your hand and ask God whatever you want ask God whatever you want ask him something impossible it shall be done for you it shall be done immediately that's what the angel told me somebody say it out if you don't want to put on here it speak it in tongues tell it to give you blessings that are not in your family yet a kind of house nobody has built in that house a kind of car nobody has ridden into that compound a kind of money nobody has a position tell God to give you that position tell him tell him yeah somebody tell him to give you the money 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 tell him to release your children tell him to release your husband release your wife release your car fire thank you lord because it is accomplished in the name of jesus put your two hands put your two hands put your two hands somebody wash off wash off every cobweb wash off every cobweb in your palm every delay whatever that is obstructing whatever you lay your hand clean off clean off pray fire as you do it go ahead for testimony what did you testify did you tell them that this girl fell on her head and they said she have to go through operation is, is it what you said huh you didn't go to that side so what side did you go it, it, they, they, that this child they, that I, I have to be praying and this girl is, did she go for the operation Royal bride, now you get her, Mabina, me get her. Who get her? Look here. I'm your father, don't mind this man. You <laughs> see, see me that call her royal bride. They say she, she fell and it's going to affect her eyes. I say, where? Where I'm breathing. Something doesn't happen where I'm breathing. I say where I'm breathing as I'm breathing. So you didn't tell them, I have told them. Save me, Lord Jesus. I will never suffer in my life. Can I hear your prayer? Chris Christian will never suffer. 
He introduced us his life in heaven and we never suffer. Somebody pray fire. Your life is on fire for dominion in three days. In seven days, anywhere you go. Somebody, can you talk in tongues? I'm about to close the service. Can you talk in tongues? I'm about to close the service. Can you talk in tongues? Can you talk in tongues? You can't kill me. I can't be poor. I know God die. I will not take drug. I am on fire. God of life and the mother, somebody open your mouth. I am on fire. The yoke of death is broken. The yoke of death is broken. The yoke of poverty is judged. The yoke of delay is scattered. The poor take money, take money, take money, take money. Take. Take. Somebody take one minute. Wherever the soul of my feet shall touch, Chris Chris and possess. Locust army possess. Possess. I possess. Somebody I possess. Somebody I possess. I possess. Somebody possess by fire. I possess. Oh God of miracle, I possess, I possess. Somebody come on, possess, possess. I possess, I possess, I possess, I possess, I possess, I possess, I possess. Now, somebody, I possess, it's accomplished. It's accomplished. Bring your leg from the water. Stand on your feet. Thank you. Now, when we share grace, you take, you put your seed offering on the altar. Now, your water, that water that Potopoto entered, it's not for New Jerusalem. Don't even attempt it. That that potter potter. <laughs> for those of us who are young and blessed, you can cross main road carefully. Pour it in any land that we need to buy. We need to. Those who are strong, pour in the gutter. Don't here. Now can we rise? Now, stretch your hand in the altar and look at, keep on looking at me. Look at me. Say with me, Chris, Christian, if you are a man of God, if you are a man of God, if I walk out of this place, the angel that you serve will change my life immediately. Can you, can you go ahead and pray that way? If you are a man of God, if you are a man of God, the angel that you serve will change my life immediately. Can you go ahead and speak it? Totolo Yarada Babaya. The angel that you serve will change my life immediately. This Christian, if you are a man of God, the angel that you serve, I connect to that angel. Can you go ahead and connect to that angel? I connect to the power of that angel. I connect to the favor of that angel. I connect to the ability of that angel. I connect to the wisdom of that angel. 
Somebody go ahead and connect. Somebody keep connecting. 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 To the God of life and immortality. To the lion of the tribe of Judah. To the root of, the, of David. Say Lord punish my enemies. And those that fight against me. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands. You are going to sow your seed when the service is over. Lift your hand where you are. Father, your people, I commit them into your hand. As they go home, let them see wonders. I, I didn't hear a amen. Yeah. Say, Chris, Christian, I connect to the angel that made you a eunuch. Let that angel catapult me. Say to me, say, Chris, Christian, lend me your chariot for only three days and let me see the glory of your God. Let me see the power of your God. In three days and three nights. Father, your people shall see the power of this God. In the name of Jesus. That is why goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your Zoe life. You shall dwell in your house and God's house. Now and forevermore. I can hear an amen. The sanctuary cleaners and Jerusalem women remember that the church had to be clean before you go home church executive who wait for police hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord the Lord almighty creator of heaven and earth who through the blood of his son see from all nations temple and tribe of the earth has made us kings and priests to him be glory and honor praise and thanksgiving world without end amen tell somebody your miracle just started you say, yeah, yeah, yeah.